Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Info. I'm Scotty, with my co-host Cletus, and the topic for today is, how does an electric tea kettle know when to turn off? Um, this is something that a couple people have asked me, and uh, it's actually kind of interesting. So, this is an electric tea kettle. Uh, you have your, your base, your plug, you stick the electric tea kettle on top, you push the button, and when it's when it's done boiling, it, boop, it pops and turns off. So, how does it work? It's actually pretty simple. So there, there's your base, and you notice when you, uh, if you try to, they usually have a switch like this, and the, the switch doesn't stay down unless it's on the base. It's on the base. You can well, you can't see it, but the switch is actually staying down. Obviously, if you lift it off the base, it turns off, so it has safety features. Um, the thing is, it doesn't matter how much water you put in here. If you put a little bit of water in, it's going to run until just to the point where it boils and then turn off. If you fill it all the way, same thing. So it's a different amount of time. So. And of course, naturally, um, this is a, a, a 1450 watt teapot because uh, electric tea kettles, they require lots of power to quickly heat your, say, say you have like a liter of water in here, you've got to heat it up to boiling in just like a couple of minutes. So they use a lot of power. So um, this, this switch and anything in here, I mean, there can't be like electronics or something because there's too much heat. So that's actually a hint as to what they do. So let's take the bottom off here, and I will show you what the deal is. We just have to undo some screws. Okay, so that's kind of complicated looking, right? Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, this is the for the base when when this makes contact uh, our switch stays this mechanism is like overly complicated i mean if you take one of these apart you'll see a mechanism similar to this it's actually like really stupidly complicated looking but it's actually pretty simple um you have your your electric heating element around here when you push the switch down it powers the electric heating element uh power from the two inputs of the heating element also goes through this little resistor and there's a little uh, it's probably a little neon, um, basically a little lamp in here so that uh, you know when the, the pot's heating. Uh, and then the rest of this is just this, this crazy mechanism. And the key component is this little guy right here. Because when I push him down, there's a little tab under here. You can see possibly, where's my pointer? Let's see if we can get that. Right under here, there's a little tab on the underside of this little bit of metal. And that's kind of the secret as to how it turns off. Because this is actually a bimetallic strip. You notice that this piece bends. So what happens is if we, what what is a bimetallic strip? Well, let's see if we can make it, if I can trigger this without setting myself on fire. Tuck. So what it just did is Normally it's like this, and when you heat it, it goes boink, and it pops. And what that does is that pushes up on the switch. If the switch is down, you, you, you push the switch down to turn it on, and when that thing bends, the little piece of metal goes due to the heat, and it pops the switch back up. So basically the way it turns off is a bimetallic strip. So what the heck is a bimetallic strip? Okay. Quick picture. Uh, got my got my thingy here. Uh, basically, a bimetallic strip is a a metal strip that consists of two metals. And there's one type of metal on the top, and there's another type of metal on the bottom, right? And this is, you know, it's solid pieces of metal. And at room temperature, it's like that. When it heats up, what happens is, because there's two different types of metals and they they uh, expand at, at different rates, essentially, the metal does this. 
Do do do. Do 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 do. So when you have these two pieces of metal and you heat them up, instead of staying straight, because the, the top piece of metal expands at a different rate than the bottom metal, but they're, they're bonded together, it naturally curves the piece of metal. And the reason that they do this, or that they use these things, is because they are uh, extremely resilient. It's two pieces of metal, you can heat it and cool it like 80 gajillion times and it's not going to fail. You can't have something like electronics in a tea kettle because... Um, there's just too much heat. 1400 watts of heat in a tiny little place, a tiny little, uh, like in the base of the our, our kettle over here, is too much heat. Heat is the enemy of electronics, so you need this bimetallic strip, which is essentially an electromechanical off switch that trips at a certain temperature. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's actually not terribly complicated. Um, I mean, you look at this mechanism and you go, Jesus Christ, that's like crazy you know, I mean, just for a simple little thing, but basically this little, this little guy here that goes brink, 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 uh, with temperature, that's how they shut off. Um, so yeah, that's how an electric tea kettle knows when to turn off. For more Techie Tips, see Scotty's Tech Tips, Tot, Scotty, for more Techie Tips, see Scotty's Tech Info. Thanks for watching.